Okay, guys, uh, we're going to do today a uh, factory IO scene factory IO palletizer. This is a complicated one because it requires uh, lots of uh, many, many function blocks to get it working. So we're going to do this one uh, today. Uh, let me go ahead and just run over uh, pretty quickly the code that I wrote uh, for this uh, function uh, uh, routine so on my main I usually just leave the this one over here this is a template to run factory IO to do the communication and that one over here is my main uh, function block this one calls every single one of these baby over here all my function blocks to control my palletizer 90 degrees 180 degree and the pusher and the plate and the elevator plus all the conveyors we have if we do I, I double click on on this uh, block uh, function block you see that over here I have already uh, inserted or the required function blocks to control that uh, particular uh, scene uh, I got my pusher here over here my plate function block that controls the box feeding uh, uh, on the conveyor a function block that convert uh, controls the pallet as they being fed uh, by the conveyor below uh, my load pallets that's getting ready to be uh, put in the elevator and the actual movement of my elevator right over here on this function block this one is just for the exit once uh, once the uh, pallet had been uh, made already I'm doing three layers uh, pa uh, palette right now, but this code is very flexible. You can use it to do a single layer, two layer, three layer, four layers, uh, whatever layer, number of layers do you need. And this is where the magic comes in. Uh, on this function block, this is the actual layers that are being palletized. Uh, 90 means that the pattern on this layer, on this particular layer, it's 90 degree versus the other one below right over here this one is 180 degree so the uh, we're doing this to tie it up or wrap up the palette so my first layer or boxes are aligned 90 degrees pattern and the next layer it will be uh, counterclockwise so like at 180 degree uh, pattern uh, for this layer and vice versa uh, one layer is 90 the other one is 180 followed by another one of 90 then 180 so on and so forth so this is the code uh, when we double I'm gonna put this code on the video so you can guys I uh, can play with it uh, they'll remember this is version 16 you see it over here this icon it says 16 that's a version the version I'm using right now so uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the entire uh, sequence to see how it works first I'm gonna to go to factory IO and choose choose the driver as you know this is the driver that I've been using lately because I do not have an actual PLC with me uh, sometimes I'm just sitting at Starbucks or at home so I have to use PLC simulation to do this but keep in mind that uh, there is no difference between actual PLC and a simulation if you manage to get everything working with your PLC simulation I would say that 80% of your code is already written and tested so you can feel confident to go uh, to the real life with an actual PLC and test it again all right let's connect to my PLC I'm gonna click over here and I'm waiting for my check mark a green check mark to appear right here if it is successful right here we got it so let's go back there and then uh, let me go ahead and get ready for the uh, loading the actual loading I'm gonna put the factory IO in ROM mode and go to my electric board which right now is, is in stop condition 
I'm going to go ahead and start it. So the first layer is 90 degrees, <clears throat> then followed by a 180 degrees uh, layer pattern. So I actuate this little pusher, so get the box just to get, get turned and oriented the way I wanted it. Good. On this uh, particular routine, I'm using just three layers. So the elevator is going to come down once that layer is finished. One more to go. One more to go. There you go. That's the last one. So now it's going to come down all the way down fast. And go to the exit conveyor. While the other one are being fed while everything is moving at the same time I am starting another layer so I'm gonna run it in fast uh, mode a high speed so you can see the uh, the actual palletizing process running in real time well not in real time but faster and uh, I'm gonna make sure you have the code so you can play with it and test it alright if you have any question guys just let me know thank you for watching See you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Adios.